Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. I'm Chris Lee, I'm the mayor of the city of Piqua, and I have the great pleasure of being the first one to welcome you to the redeveloped Block 9 Park. Thank you for being here to commemorate this occasion and recognize the important role this investment will play in Piqua's bright future. The vision held for this community gathering space began with an idea and a plan years ago. Through the hard work and dedication of the city staff, elected leaders, and citizens who voiced their opinion, we are here today celebrating that vision coming to reality. Today is also an opportunity to remember the history of the Miami and Erie Canal and the deep economic and social impacts the canal system brought to our residents. The Miami and Erie Canal was a 274 mile waterway built between 1825 and 1845 to connect Lake Erie and the Ohio River. The canal was constructed to provide Western Ohio farmers with access to Eastern markets, and it allowed raw materials to flow into cities and finished goods to flow out. It's also the pathway for the Randolph Freedmen, and that, that's a narrative that's uh, unique to Piqua, who made a journey from Virginia to New Bremen, New Bremen, Ohio, uh, to receive promised land only to be turned away, and they settled on the outside of Piqua and several other places. Now we look to the future. To share more with you about the process to reach this day, let me welcome David Gamble of Gamble Associates. His team led the architectural design to fully integrate the Great Miami River, the bike path, and the downtown district together in a space the community can gather for special events and everyday occasions. Mr. Gamble. Thank you, Mayor. Can you hear me okay? Great cities have great parks. And it was such a delight to have partnered with the city of Piqua and a remarkable team of designers to uncover this space. And I say uncover because this lock has been here for over a century, buried slightly below grade and obscured from view. But the excavation of a 19th century artifact can form the basis of economic generation in the 21st. Indeed, this two and a half acre landscape just nearing completion is already demonstrating the safe, that a safe, resilient, inviting public realm activates properties along its edges. Indeed, historic buildings provide great shells for contemporary uses, such as running stores or coffee roasters or even microbreweries that work exceptionally well inside their shelves. You know, when boats would come through the lock, it usually took about 15 minutes. So breweries always appeared up along their edges. So it's a quite a poetic uh, justice that in fact Crooked Handle Brewery now overlooks this great space. A native Ohioan, I grew up in Conneaut in the northeast part of the state, Ohio's sharpest corner. And I've been traveling to, to Piqua for over a decade. The implementation of this civic infrastructure demonstrates evidence against the frequent lament that municipal planning is reactive and reactionary. On the contrary, this was city-led. Thank you to so many people who provided insights and stories that informed the look and feel of this landscape and pavilion. Special thanks in particular to Chris Meesing, Paul Oberdorfer, Gary Huff, Casey Hines, Lorna Swisher, and Jim Oda, the town historian. And you know, this park had a different design initially. And I remember going before the planning board and we presented the, the scheme and it had a, a curved reenactment of, of that lock and Jim simply said at the end of the presentation, that's all great and fine, but why don't you just excavate what's already there? Little did we know that in fact, with some ground penetrating radar, the lock had been buried. And then like other towns that simply demolished it or built ersatz replicas, Piqua had the foresight to just preserve it. I'm going to revise my initial statement to say that great regions have great parks. And it's my pleasure to welcome Mary Lynn Lodor, General Manager of the Miami Conservancy District, to elaborate on the impacts of this riverfront development and the greater geography in which it resides.
Thank you so much, David. The Mind Beacon Conservancy District is so pleased to be a part of this amazing transformational project um, and to actually help to implement the Riverfront Master Plan here in Piqua. The Miami Conservancy District's levee and dam system has protected Piqua for over 102 years, but the levee has blocked the views of the river and the access to it. Working with the Miami Conservancy District, the, the Piqua design team conceived this plan to lay back the levee and allow us to see more of the breathtaking views of the Great Miami River. In partnership with the Piqua design team, the flood protection system is now enhanced with reinforced turf matting and a barrier, of, a passive flood barrier system that we actually had our team here last week doing some training exercising, tra training exercises and, and testing. That system now replaced the aging re concrete re reinvented walls that uh, are now re replaced with this more of a greener, natural, um, softer system along the river. Through partnerships like this, the Miami Conservancy District is pleased to contribute to the quality of life that enhances the Great Miami Riverway. Since the 1913 flood, the Miami Conservancy District has protected the region over 2,000 times, protected people and homes and businesses and utilities throughout the region. The flood system, the flood system here in, in Piqua isn't just the levee system that we see, but we have a dam upstream of Piqua, the Lockington Dam, where we're completing a $5 million improvement project to ensure that dam is going to be here to uh, provide safety and security for the city of P Piqua. The Miami Conservancy District and the Great Miami River Coalition are working hard to promote the exciting things happening along the Great Miami River. And during sunny days like this and sunny nights or warm nights, we can enjoy the, the, the river and the, the parks. But during wet weather and high water when the Great Miami River is rising, this system, this park is going to help protect Piqua and your neighbors and your businesses and friends and family. Uh, the Miami Conservancy District would like to thank uh, the Piqua team of Paul and, and Chris Meising and the, the, the design team and uh, Gamble Associates as well as Choice One Engineering for their patience and cooperation as we went through this process to enhance and follow the requirements of the Miami Conservancy District. We'd also like to thank the American Trademark Construction Services for their care, care and quality work on the Piqua, uh, on our levy system here. And I'd also like to thank the uh, Miami Conservancy District staff uh, Jerry Oaks, who's our local caretaker here of our, our flood protection system here in, in Piqua. I'd also like to thank Don O'Connor, Jaden uh, Horner, Jim uh, Kittle, and Roxanne Ferrier, who helped to review the detailed work and the design plans, the permitting, the inspections, as well as really identifying the, the, uh, the barrier, the, the passive flood barrier um, that we've installed here to, uh, to help ensure the flood protection system will remain safe. So on behalf of the board of the Miami Conservancy District, I just want to thank the residents um, and, and city uh, uh, leaders and businesses here in Piqua uh, and hope you enjoy the Lock Nine Park for many, many, many years to come. And we appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this transformational project. Uh, now, please help me uh, welcome Paul Oberdorf, to, um, who has led the city charge in uh, making this, this park a reality. Thank you, Mary Lynn, for your leadership and collaboration on this great project. It's with great pleasure we gather here today at Lock Nine Park, which holds historical significance and great promise for the future. As we inaugurate this remarkable project, let us celebrate not only the physical transformation of this great space, but also the rich history. The same Lock Nine Park is significant, and it's essential to take a moment to reflect on the journey that has brought us to this point today. As we look back in time, in the early 19th century, Piqua played a pivotal role in the intersections of progress. The Miami and Erie Canal, an engineering marvel in itself, flowed through our town, connecting communities, commerce, and aspirations. On July 5th, in 1837, the canal's completion was celebrated with Lock 9 at its core, the economic powerhouse that fueled Piqua's growth for that time. We are rediscovering our heritage. Over time, historical connection has faded into obscurity. The impact of the canal on our city became a mere whisper drowned out by the tide of change. Today, we're reclaiming that heritage. Lock Nine Park stands as a testament, bridging the past and the present. It beckons us to immerse ourselves in the history, to feel the echoes of those who worked here 
and honor their legacy. Today, we're achieving and advancing economic development through community vision. Beyond nostalgia, Lock Nine Park holds the promise of prosperity. The City of Pequon, in partnership with various stakeholders, envisioned the transformation. We secured grants, utilized funding, and, and united around a common goal. The plan improvements, terracing the levee, establishing this wonderful performance pavilion, and connecting the trails at the intersection behind me will enrich our quality of life and stimulate entrepreneurial activity and job creation. Lock 9 is a center for recreation and gathering. As we stand here today, we glimpse back at the future. Lock 9 Park will be more than just green spaces and pathways. It will be a hub for outdoor activities, leisure, and community events. Families will gather for picnics on our lawn, and artists will find inspiration as they play by the river. Our friends will come together and honor life's moments. So in closing, let us cut this ribbon with pride today, recognizing that Lock Nine Park represents more than just physical structures. It's a link across time, a catalyst for progress, and a canvas for our collective ambitions. May it stand as a guiding light, leading us forward into a vibrant future. Thank you, and may Lock Nine inspire us as we move forward in the future. I'm honored here to introduce our next speaker and to thank him for coming today. He's Chief of Social Impact and Opportunity with the State of Ohio, Ronald Todd. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, I've been to a Pickle Indians football game, and you guys get louder. Come on, let's clap, y'all. Come on. Come on. See, that's why I know. I heard that. I went past the stadium. I got a little nervous, so. But I'm too old to get hit now. So thanks so much for inviting me here today. I am extremely honored to be in front of the Honorable Chris Lee. Uh, and I say that with, with kindness uh, because he's also my fraternity brother. Can you believe that? So you can clap on that too. I want to thank the, my fellow Mac player, Mac Guy, Kent State. Thank you so much, man, Dave Gamble. Thanks so much. Let's give him a hand, too. Appreciate that. Oh, Representative. Now, I cannot forget you. I played against him in Toledo, man. Good to see you. Thank you so much. And you're going to speak later, so I'm going to give you the, let you say what you're going to say. I'm not going to be long. And thanks for all the dignitaries and all the folks here in Pickville. Today we stand the threshold of a new chapter for Pickle, Ohio, as we celebrate the ribbon cutting for Lot 9 Park. This park represents more than just a space for recreation and relaxation. It symbolizes the spirit of community, resilience, grit, and progress. Lot 9 Park is a testament to what can be achieved when we come together with a shared vision. It will be a gathering place for families, friends, neighbors, foster connections, and creating memories that will last a lifetime. This park will not only enhance the quality of life for Pickle residents, but also attract visitors like myself and support local businesses, contribute to the overall economic vitality of our community. As a chief of social impact, an opportunity for the Ohio Department of Development. I am proud, and I'm so proud, I know the governor's proud, the lieutenant governor's proud, and director of development, Mahalik, to see such projects come to fruition. Our department's mission is to empower communities to succeed, and Lot 9 Park is a shining example of that mission in action. It's a reminder to us that if we work together, it will happen. I encourage each of you to take full advantage of all that Lot 9 Park has to offer, whether it's a quiet moment by the water, a walk with loved ones, or a community event. Let this park be a place where joy 
and inspiration flourish. Thank you to everyone who worked tirelessly, I mean, I can imagine tirelessly, to make this day possible. Your dedication and hard work have created something truly special. Let's continue to dream big and work together to make Pitwa an even better place to live, work, and play. Congratulations, Pitwa, on this wonderful new addition to your community. The future is bright, and it starts right here with Lock 9. God bless you. Thank you again. I see him a lot, and it's always tough to uh, follow him. But I'm State Senator Steve Huffman. Uh, I've represented uh, Miami County and the city of Pickford for almost 10 years, first in the High House and now in the High Senate. And I just want to say, first I want to say uh, thank you for all the hard work everybody's done to do this uh, beautiful thing. I was very happy and proud in the 2022 capital budget to get 150000 from the state for this. Uh, for this project, uh, cer certainly a, a game changer to to revitalize downtown. Um, so I just want to thank everybody. I have a proclamation for the mayor, and I'll just leave it up here, uh, congratulating everybody on on the new Lock Nine. And I'm also really happy that uh, uh, in the capital budget a few weeks ago, the governor signed there was six hundred thousand dollars to. Uh, uh, continue to fix up uh, Ford Pickwood that uh, will we'll certainly uh, have a good grand opening for that too. So congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. It's a beautiful place and I'm sure uh, a lot of people, especially a lot of families, will have great times here. Thank you. Thank you for the proclamation. What happened? To our... oh, false gold. False gold? <laughs> Sorry about that. See? It was a test. Yeah, it was a good test. Appreciate the test. I don't want to forget anybody. You know? I'm not going to get accused of that. That's, what it is. So, that's why we write things down. Again, guys, thank you so much, uh, Senator. We appreciate your presence here today. Thank you for the proclamation um, and your ongoing support for PICWA. It's now time to officially commemorate the opening of Lot 9 Park with the ceremonial ribbon cut. Yep, it's not working. all that loud noise from so uh, my frat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I get loud too. <laughs> That's all right. So it's now time to officially commemorate the opening of Lot 9 Park, the ceremonial ribbon cutting. Thank you to the Pickwa Area Chamber of Commerce staff and ambassadors for joining us today to celebrate the moment. We would like to welcome in front of all of the partners who have played a role in helping the city to accomplish this, re accomplish this redevelopment project. Please have representatives join us for the ribbon cutting immediately in front of the lectern. My fellow city commissioners, come on down. City Manager Paul Corbidorfer, Miami Conservancy District, come on down. Main Street Piqua, come on down. Cargill Foundation. Better Community Fund of the Piqua community. Have representatives come on down. Niles A. Lungard and Ruth Lungard Foundation, please come on down. Ohio Department of Development, a representative, there you go. Ohio Department of Natural Resources, any representative is here for that. State Senator, State of Ohio and Senator Steve Huffman. Any representative here from the Upper Valley Medical Center Foundation? Representative from Gamble Associates? 
Booker Design Collaborative Representative. SRM Concrete Representative. And American Trademark Construction Service. All those please come down and uh, we're gonna take a picture and uh, and then we're gonna cut the ribbon. Do we have a ribbon? <laughs> and the Miami County Commission. I did. I see you out there, come on down. <laughs> Great group here somewhere. There you are. Huh? Yes, and Cindy, please come up. Yeah. You two rows? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.